What's good, guys? Fantasy Joe back here with some more fantasy football content today. I am back with our early round decision series. This one's a pivotal one because if you're taking Brees Hall or B. John Robinson, the two guys we are talking about today, you are taking them with your first pick in your draft. So it's vital that you hit on this guy. This is the chance to get a true difference maker, one of the elite guys at the running back position that can help propel your team to a fantasy football championship. If you want to win a fantasy football championship, hit that subscribe button. If you are new, please stick around. I have a ton of really good content for you, in-season content, as well as all the pre-draft stuff you need. Sleepers and values already out. League winners are coming out this weekend and early this next week. If you need are drafting this weekend, you are already subscribed, just comment down below and I can get you those league winners before your draft. That way you know. But if you are drafting next weekend, just stick around. They are dropping this weekend and early next week. They should all be out by Tuesday or earlier, and I'm guessing it's going to be earlier. So hit that subscribe button if you want to win a fantasy football championship. Likes and comments are appreciated. Drop any comments you guys have below in the comment section. Let me know who you take, Brees or Bijan. Let me know who else you want to see or any other fantasy football questions that you guys have. All right, so let's talk Brees. Last year finished as the RB4 in 2023. But one thing I want to point out is finished as the RB4 last year, coming off a torn ACL in his previous season. Usually we see that first season back from a torn ACL decline production, not for Brees Hall. He was absolutely phenomenal for fantasy football, finishing in the top four and leading all running backs in receptions, receiving yards, targets, everything. Truly remarkable, and not only did he have a top five finish, a top four finish, with a bad knee coming off of a massive injury and an awful offense. They were so bad last year. The quarterback play was abysmal. The offensive line was awful, and he still was able to do all this. He's an electric talent, truly one of the best running backs in the NFL. He can finish as an RB1 this year. That's within his realm of outcomes. I truly do believe it, especially if Aaron Rodgers comes back and this offense takes a massive leap. This offensive line as well is improved. Not the best for him in terms of strength of schedule, as you can see here, but that metric varies a lot from site to site, whatever site you're on. I just use Fantasy Pros because I like the way they form their stats. It's clear what player I'm talking about. But really, you know, not every metric they have is perfect by any means. But I think Brees Hall is going to be a dynamic player in both the rushing game and the passing game. He's got breakaway speed. He's one of the best young players in the league. And like I said, he's 23. He's in those prime years for running back. There's really no cons to it, considering how high he finished last year. Like I, get, like I said earlier, with how bad the offense was, the offensive line, and coming off of a massive injury. Usually we see increased production year two post-knee injury. So Brees Hall has that going for him as well. I have him projected for 250 carries, 1,250 rushing yards, nine rushing touchdowns. 60 receptions, 510 receiving yards, and four touchdowns through the air. So 13 touchdowns in total and close to 1,700 yards from scrimmage this upcoming season for Brees Hall is what I've been projected for. I do have him losing with some receptions in the passing game. As you can see, caught 76 passes this last year. Uh, the reason being so many of those were due to do, due in my mind to the ineptitude of the offense. I think Aaron Rodgers will push the ball a little bit more down the field than you know, some of these other quarterbacks they had playing last year, trying to be a little bit more aggressive. I think a little bit of it was desperation. There's some massive receiving games he had where they couldn't do much else. But I do see that changing moving forward. And I will say, on the, the con side for Brees Hall, he, Aaron Rodgers is returning from an Achilles injury. He's an older quarterback, getting close to 40 years old now. But I will say, it's not just anyone you're betting on. It's Aaron Rodgers. It's the GOAT that you're betting on, and he doesn't have to be Superman. He just has to be better than Zach Wilson, and I think that is a for sure bet, assuming he can stay on the field, but that's a risk with any player. Moving on to Brijan Robinson. This last year, he finished as the RB9 despite, despite poor usage, and by poor usage, I mean in two facets. Not only just the quantity of touches that worked enough, he averaged 12.7 carries per game, and was sixth in yards among running backs. That's pretty remarkable considering the, the usage he got and the and how efficient he was. Another thing to consider, though, is also he wasn't using the red zone very often. So not only was he not getting much volume, 
he wasn't getting the high value touches in that red zone where you can really cash in for fantasy football. You see only four rushing touchdowns last year. He had four through the air. Typically, for a running back who's you know getting as much volume as he should get on the ground and in the red zone, that number would be much higher in that rushing category. But also, another thing to point out last year, not only was he not getting the ball, splitting a lot of the touches with some stupidity from the coaching staff. I think if they'd utilized Bijan as their bell cow back, they could have been you know, close to a playoff berth. Um, but the offense was awful just in general. They have a really good offensive line there in Atlanta, which is a nice perk. But with Desmond Ritter last year, things were just not moving on offense. That obviously changes this year. They bring in Kirk Cousins. They draft Michael Penix Jr. They've got two quarterbacks, a.k.a. you've got a little bit more of an insurance policy. One of these guys doesn't work out. You know, one of these guys goes down. There should be a competent guy to step in. And I have no doubt both of these guys will be dramatically better than Desmond Ritter. Desmond Ritter was an awful quarterback. No matter what version we get of Kirk, he'll be better. And like I said, if Penix has to play right away, Penix will be better than Desmond Ritter leaps and bounds better. The new coaching staff as well has already talked about how they want to feed B. John Robinson, use him similar to that Christian McCaffrey role. And this coaching staff comes from the Rams. Obviously, we've seen the utilization Kyron's had close to a Christian McCaffrey-like workload. Todd Gurley back in the day, they like to utilize one back. So I see the usage for Bijan going up dramatically. This is a team that's going to be competing for the playoffs. He's one of the best running backs in all of football. He can make an impact in the rushing game with explosive plays, breaking tackles, elusiveness, and in the receiving game, making impact plays in both. And another thing I want to point out, Vegas has the Falcons for nine and a half wins this year. That's a massive improvement. And obviously they're, you know, Vegas keeps the lights on. They're doing all right, so they know a thing or two. And I just think there's a lot of things headed in the right way for B. John Robinson. I think any coach last year, if he had just been you know, on any other team with the same situation, this guy easily was a top five running back, and I think the sky's the limit. Talk about another guy who thinks who could steal the throne from McCaffrey if he goes down with injury or you know, there's some different utilization moving forward. B. John Robinson could be one of those guys. I have him projected this year for 270 carries, 1,350 rushing yards, 10 rushing touchdowns, 65 receptions, 553 receiving yards, and 4 receiving touchdowns. So that's 14 total touchdowns and close to 1,800 or over almost 1,900 yards from scrimmage. So I am taking B. John Robinson over Brees Hall, although it is a narrow margin. I don't really think you can go wrong. I think you're... It is good to nitpick a little bit with these guys at the top. I think Bijan will get a little bit more work on the ground. And I strength the schedule, six easiest compared to 28th. That's another tiebreaker for me. And having two quarterbacks, the offensive lines, I would give the edge to Atlanta as well. So there are just a lot of elements that helped me to lean Bijan, even though the dominance that we've seen Brees Hall already display for fantasy football. And again, I don't think you can go wrong with either of these guys. I think they're going to be a smash picks for fantasy football. If you guys have made it to this point in the video, hit that subscribe button. If you want to beat your friends and family in fantasy football, hit the subscribe button. Win a fantasy championship. It's that simple. Stick around. Fantasy Joe will get you there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stick around for league winners. Comment down below any questions you guys have. I'll respond as always. And again, thank you so much for watching.